for every purchase, you have to have a separate KYC. Yes, we have that. So we have that. Therefore, it's very clear that every time somebody made a purchase, a KYC was mandated. That wow. One set of documents, namely the electoral bond application form, KYC documents, citizenship documents, and pains. Manav, wow. there's no issue. We have the details. For one Please don't misunderstand me. Therefore, you have the details. No, so no, I have the details. I, I'm sorry. I'm not saying it's not there. Uh, para 5 said central government framed the electoral bond scheme which provided that the information furnished by the buyer shall be treated as confidential and the bank shall not and shall not be disclosed by any authority for any purpose now Lord, we knew this is sensitive information so a, a physical procedure was de 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 devised you sort of did a, a kyc and you kept the name in that and once that was cleared, then only the bond number was cleared and then the bond number was uh, used for further purchases. The money came to people who didn't know who the money was, uh, who was the real name of the purchaser. They just knew this was a cleared account, so it came into a bond payment account. And from the bond payment account, it was given. And it was done precisely in order to prevent this kind of gossip coming out saying uh, so-and-so has purchased so much. It is submitted that you know, details were kept in a sealed cover at the designated branch and all such seal covers were deposited in the main branch of the applicant bank which is located in mumbai yes sir on the other end each political party was required to maintain a designated account in any of the 29 authorized branches it was only in this account that electoral bonds received by that party could be deposited and redeemed at the time of redemption the original bond the pain slip would be stored in a seal cover and sent to the sbi mumbai main branch so what you are saying is that donor details were all sent to the SBI main branch. Redemption Correct. details were all sent to the Mumbai, uh, the same branch, the SBI central main branch in Mumbai. Yes. Now, paragraph 10, you specifically say that all the purchases details have been kept in a sealed cover. Yes. In the main branch of the applicant bank. Correct. You just have to simply open up the sealed cover and Manad. collate the names and give the details. Well, as far as is, paragraph 11 is concerned, you, then you also you are saying that the Dhoni's details are being kept in a sealed cover, envelope in a sealed cover. Open up the sealed cover and give the details. In fact, tell me where sealed, the only bit of information. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the EC was asked to file an affidavit which you, in a sealed uh, affidavit or details in a sealed envelope, which we have not opened, which we have not opened with regard to the donor details and other details. The problem is, Manad, I have to now put the name of the purchaser, which is in the first sealed uh, packet. And these are all physically kept. It, they were not put into the banking system. I'll have to, each form will have to be taken out. The name checked. That name now correlated to the payment detail. And the payment detail correlated to the bond. And finally, that's where the bond number gets generated. And then we can connect as to which political party who has given that money. In order to make available donor information, the date of issue of each bond will have to be checked and matched against the date of purchase by a particular donor. This exercise would only deal with the first silo of information. These bonds were redeemed by political parties in their designated bank accounts. Accordingly, this information would then have to be matched against the bond redemption information that makes up the second silo. The details are stored separately. Some of the details such as bonds number are stored digitally, while the other sets of details such as name of purchaser, KYC are stored physically. The purpose of not storing all details digitally was to ensure that it cannot be gathered easily to achieve the object of the scheme. That this court has directed for making public the donor information to the date of its interim order, 12th April 19, to the date of the judgment. In that time, 22,217 electoral bonds were used for making donations to various political parties. Redeemed bonds were deposited to Mumbai main branch by the authorized branches at the end of each phase in sealed envelopes. Coupled with the fact that two different information silos existed, this would mean that a total of 44,434 information set would have to be decoded, decoded, compiled, and compared. Now, if you see the directions which we have issued at page 76, My Lord. we have not told you to do the matching exercise. We have asked you for a plain disclosure. Therefore, the ground on which you seek an extension of time to make the disclosure does not accord with the directions in the judgment at all. The judgment doesn't tell you to do that. Exactly. No, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we understand. If that is not so, then of course, there's no problem. SBI shall submit details of electoral bonds purchased since the interim order of the court. No problem. No problem. 
The details shall include the date of purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchase. Now, my lord, when the purchases were happening, we divided the information. The name is kept at one place, and the purchase is recorded at another place. But ultimately, everything was sent to mm -hmm. the Mumbai Central Main Branch. All issuing branches for the political parties, there are only twenty-four. Actually, there are four. But in so far as the purchases are concerned, everything has been remitted back to the Mumbai Central Main Branch. Except, I'm sorry, my lord, your lordship is right. It is not kept at one place because the reason, if your lordship just see then earlier para, my lord was. Uh, if you see the SOP, because this is not something we've done now, Manoj, this is the original SOP, said no so detail. Is, Tavay, ultimately, even your FAQs, which were shown to us during the course of the hearing, yes. the FAQs indicate that for every purchase, you have to have a separate KYC. Yes, we have that. So we have that. Therefore, it's very clear that every time somebody made a purchase, a KYC was mandated. That wow. One set of documents, namely the electoral bond application form, KYC documents, citizenship documents, and pains. Manav, there is no issue. We have the details. For one Please don't misunderstand me. Therefore, you have the details. No, no, I have the details. I am sorry. I am not saying it's not there. One, one minute, Mr. Salve. Now, paragraph 10, you specifically say that all the purchases details have been kept in a sealed cover. Yes. In the main branch of the applicant bank. Correct, Manav. You just have to simply open up the sealed cover. And Malad, collate the names and give the details. Malad, as far as is, paragraph 11 is concerned, then you also you are saying that the Dhoni's details are being kept in a sealed cover, envelope in a sealed cover. Open up the sealed cover and give the details. In fact, tell Malad, where the only bit of information... Yes, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the EC was asked to file an affidavit which you, in a sealed aff, uh, affidavit or details in a sealed envelope, which we have not opened. Which we have not opened with regard to the donor details and other details during the course of hearing, which they may have filed. Manod, my my problem is this, Manod. I with uh, with respect, in fact, just uh, responding to what my lord has said. There are I have full details of who purchased the bond, but that's put in one silo of information. I have full details of where the money came from, which is in a second silo. And I have a complete detail of which political party tendered how many bonds and who has been paid how much. That's a, that's an easy easy ask. That can be given straight away. The problem is, Manod, I have to now put the name of the purchaser, which is in the first sealed uh, packet. And these are all physically kept. It, they were not put into the banking system. I'll have to, each form will have to be taken out. The name checked. That name now correlated to the payment detail and the payment detail correlated to the bond. And finally, that's where the bond number gets generated. And then we can connect as to which political party who has given that money. But Manod, I have to be correlated with the, the purchaser and the uh, political party. Manod, uh, para 76 what does suggest that. Would your lordship just see it for a moment? If you no, don't, go, don't go by what is suggested. Whatever you wanted to speak, just uh, spoken in black and white. No, no, in that, Malad, your lordships, please see that sentence. I'm not, Malad, I have no, de no desire at all to uh, try and expand our own job, Malad. Please see page 76. This by itself is creating difficulties. Malad, your lordships say, the details shall include date of purchase, avoid bond, no problem. But the moment I have to give the detail of the name with the bond number, that is taking time because we are deliberately put these in two silos. If your lordships want only the details of who purchased the bonds, we can give that straight away. Mr. Osarvi, our judgment is dated 15th of February 2024. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are now on the 11th of March. Yes, ma'am. In the, in the last 26 days, uh, what extent of matching has been done by you? What, what steps have you taken in the last 26 days? The application is absolutely silent on that. We, we, can, put, we can put a detailed affidavit on uh, that. No, because I know that it should have been disclosed in the affidavit. I, I agree. Man. I agree. No, uh, the State Bank of India, which is coming, coming to us, we expect that there should be a degree of candor on the part of the State Bank of India. That this is what the work which we have done. The work is at this stage. We need an extension of time to carry out the balance of the exercise which remains. But we have, we have sought to explain the problem and the work is going on because not each each form it'll have to be form by form going on to what extent you have reached 
A lot of work is going on form by form. They will, I, if you're not concerned, I can give the exact detail of how many we have covered and how many more we can cover. But they did a rough uh, calculation. It will take about three months more. Because I'll tell you about my other concern. I have another big concern, Malad. I cannot, I cannot make a mistake in this. I'll get sued by the donor. I'll get sued by people because I cannot, no, I cannot by mistake say A got it when B had it. Highest court of this country. So where is the question of you being sued? I'm sorry, Malad. You are being, you are, whatever you are doing, you are doing under the directions of the highest court of. No, the no, no, Malad. If I make a mistake, if I say Mr. X got it instead of Mr. Y got it, in a hurry to give the numbers, I, I could create havoc there, Malad, no, because ultimately. As you take it, Mr. Salvi, you are accepting that there is no difficulty in giving names of the donors who purchase the bonds and the amount they purchase the bonds. You have got no difficulty in giving details of the political parties who have purchased the particular bonds. The only difficulty is matching the bond, purchase bond with that. But 26 days, you may have, must have carried out at least some, say, 10,000 bonds you have been able to collate, 5,000 bonds you have been able to collate. Well, quite frankly, what I saw, they were struggling with it. They were making charts which we saw were not matching. I they didn't. Uh, I'll tell you what has happened. No, I'll tell you not candidly what has happened. If I'm not mistaken, it was pointed out to us that the bonds had some number which yes. under the, which under some uh, instrument they were able to. Yes, yes, yes. But that yeah, number that's all has to be done. That number is not to be found in the application for purchase or uh, in the uh, first set of documents. The problem is that number, when was number was generated, that number has been scrambled and put elsewhere. And that number has been kept secret. Number of, putting that will require tracing it into each transaction. The At the stage of the interim order, model, and I'm not, I'm saying what happened at that time. The kind of information which your lordship asked was a macro information. So See, that is no problem. In pursuance of the interim order, in yes. pursuance of the interim order, yes, Election Commission of India has filed, uh, you know, uh, has filed details before us. Or whatever in, they have in separate silos, if we may can, if we can use that expression. Yes, the ministry has placed that, you know, in a secured, in secured custody with us. We'll direct them to open it here right now because since we were deciding a point of constitutional validity, we didn't consider it necessary either during the course of the hearing on, or, or thereafter. So we can ask them to open it and we'll ask the Election Commission of India to divulge whatever there is and we'll ask SBI to then divulge what we have asked them to do. Yes, well, well, been, we'll do it. We'll send it to before us. Your you see, see, Mr. Sharma, whatever has been placed by you before us, in compliance with the judgment, we will direct that to be open right now. And your lordship directed us to give it to the uh, ECI. So we'll give it to the ECI or your lordship want us to file it directly in court. I think better through the ECI. Uh, no, you, uh, Mr. Salve, you comply with the order of the court. To give it to the ECI. Whatever ECI has placed in the court. Already. We will direct that to be open. We'll ask our court to make a copy of it, a digitized copy for the safekeeping of the court. And then we will return it back to the, the rest. We'll, re we'll return it back to ECI for them to upload it on their website. What ECI has already, there's no problem. We will give to the ECI as uh, in the time, if you're not to give us three, more, three months, we'll go and give, give it to the ECI. And they, as, as and when they get it, they can upload it. We want to make sure we get every bond number right, every donor right. Because so, this otherwise is going to create, create havoc for today for donors who come and say, this is not my bond, I did not purchase this, you put the wrong number on my bond, I did not give the that. answer. There's no question of that. Once he is given the KYC, he is given the details, you also have the application. The application will be having the no, amount. No, no, I'm sorry, Marat. I, I'm sorry. My concern is he purchased bond number X. I, I by mistake, I put his number as purchasing bond number Y. Now, X may have gone to political party A, Y may have gone to political party B. Why will that happen, Mr. Sir? Because I'm not, I'll tell you, Marat, why? Because he haven't kept the number one bank in the country. We do expect them to be able to handle this. No, no, not expect to be handled. We were told, make sure that this doesn't leak. So, Marat, the way we stored the information, the bond number did not get into the core banking system. If we had been told keep information on this basis, we would have devised our systems accordingly. If we had kept it like that, Marat, any senior bank officer could have found out bond numbers and, and the whole thing would have been out in public domain. Who has how much all the secrecy? Sorry, the assistant general manager files an affidavit in support of the application to the Supreme Court for modification and order of a constitution bench. 
It's a very serious matter when you ask for modification of an order. I, I accept that one. I accept that. One. I accept that. And I accept that. Your have... files and affidavit and tells us that look, I'm finding it difficult. The information is maintained in two silos. No, but not this. This uh, he has filed the affidavit because he's the he's the man in the spot. He's the person who has to do this job. He's he's the level at which the accounts are kept. We said you must have the person who's uh, who knows what he's talking about. So, but give us a little time. We'll do it. Ask for time.